what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> i realized that it's been a pretty long time since i've been on neil but i honestly didn't want to just jump into a whole new video and upload as if i haven't been not here for a whole month i think it's been almost a month it's pretty much been a month so hi welcome back today's video is going to be another random ramble um, I haven't done one of these in a while. So if you guys don't know what a random ramble is, it's basically a video where I just sit down and I talk about things and I just rant and let some stuff out and hopefully you guys have a bit of a takeaway from everything that I was complaining about. Nose itchy as usual. I feel like I have a lot to talk about today. So thank you for clicking on this video and um, Hopefully you guys will be able to relate to some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about. And if not, then yeah, you can sit and listen to me complain about life. So I hope you have a hot cup of something. As usual, I've got not coffee. I've actually got a chocochino today instead. Not the healthiest, but it's a bit of a comfort drink. Um, so grab yourself a hot cup of something or a hot mug or something or a glass. Of something and let's get straight into this video which way do I usually point it's been so long I don't even know which way I point anymore so you guys I had a lot that I actually wanted to chat about but then I was thinking eh, do people really want to hear about this um, no they probably don't so I'm not gonna do it then I decided you know what whatever I'm just gonna put it on the camera and just talk and see what happens whether this video gets uploaded or not and whether it does get uploaded and it doesn't get the attention that I think it was that I thought it was gonna get or not whatever it's there so first things first obviously 2020 started on a really 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 good note um, because you know I got engaged in December every time I say I'm engaged I always have the need to show the ring that's so extra anyway um, so 2020 started on a really good note. I was so flippin' excited for this year. You saw my bullet journal. If you guys didn't, you can go check it out on Instagram. I had like my bullet journal set out. I was so ready for this year. I had my color scheme and everything, you know. Then I know that I also started picking up a lot of my consistency with uploading um, in December. And that consistency kind of led into January, which is which was a good thing. I changed the look on my channel, the name of my channel. It's pretty consistent. I think I got at least a good three videos up in January and then suddenly I just vanished <sighs> off this channel. So long story short, okay this isn't gonna exactly be a long story short but hey. Um, so we had our engagement party in February but in the weeks from January leading into February and then from February leading into the engagement weekend I just I completely fell off the wagon again just poof. when I say this I mean that in January you know I had this I was so ready to like take on this year and then leading to February I was like yes month two of 2020 I'm gonna do this I had a bomb as gym plan I had my study plan set out I had an eating plan I was so ready I was even ready to be active while we were on holiday you know i was gonna go for a jog i was gonna do this i was gonna do yoga etc etc but that just that didn't happen but then when february came around i just didn't wake up for gym and then i didn't go to gym and then i started eating bad and then i started ordering food almost every day because i was way too flippin' lazy to make my own lunch at home i stopped studying as well and now once again i'm a bit behind in my studies according to like the schedule that i had set up for myself because the course is self-study this was all because i had a teeny tiny little anxiety attack in like january i don't know it was just one of those usual panic moments you know and i ended up feeling very anxious towards the end of january which is why i put together this whole plan for february um and i was so ready to take you know i was so ready to take the month on and then boom i just took all that anxiety into february with me and i never took on my plan okay i'm coming fast forwarding to after the engagement trip I got back home and then I was like right back to work back to normal 
let me put this plan into action and let's toffee and let's just get back on track and get my head screwed on straight again but clearly that didn't happen big surprise the first week that we were back um back the side after the engagement stuff and i was back at work i was actually so lazy to get back into a routine and i just felt icky you know i felt horrible i just wanted to sleep i was waking usually i'm up at four every morning i was waking up at half past six for work which is terrible it's two and a half hours later you know that's how lazy i actually got that i couldn't even wake up in the morning one of the reasons now this is a bit of a i don't know i've never spoken about something like this before on my channel but i'm going to do it today because you know i don't i don't care i just i realized the reason that why i was feeling so blah was because i know that end of last year i had picked up some weight and um the reason why i picked up this weight was because of the patch and for those of you who don't know the patch is a contraceptive it's a form it's like a plaster but it's got the hormones so you absorb the hormones through your skin so it's a contraceptive patch basically and um this is the one form of contraception that is prescribed mainly and very commonly to women who have very 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 bad period pains but the one of the really bad side effects of the first six months of getting used to the patch and getting used to the whole cycle and stuff is weight gain and weight gain like really quick and i know that this is this is a bit of a controversial thing to talk about and everyone has different views on this everyone views everyone differently everyone views themselves differently and body image it's just it's just a whole other thing that can be spoken about um i didn't it i picked up enough to move me up uh, a whole dress size in like everything like from jeans to something as simple as like a button-up shirt i moved like two sizes up in that kind of stuff you know so that was enough to make me feel so horrible and icky about myself that i just saw no point in going to gym i was just like i like eating i like the yummy things i don't care i'm just gonna indulge so basically i'm gonna be honest i didn't fall off the wagon here i willingly stopped and jumped off and waved the wagon goodbye and i kept blaming all of this on work is too hectic i'm tired because of traffic um i slept late because i was i don't know doing whatever it wasn't anything constructive that's why i can't wake up and you know i was just i was coming up with excuses for everything which seemed very very legit at the time you know they made sense to me at the time now when I think back, I'm like, really, Sina? So I stopped gym, I stopped eating properly, and all of this actually came down to a point where I wasn't doing the simplest things, like waking up early, reading every day, doing my yoga, doing meditation, right down to the point where I wasn't, like, I wasn't bothered to wash my face properly. I was just taking my makeup off and, like, throwing some random cream on my face, and, ah, I'm good, let me go sleep, because I'm tired. And then obviously, again, I think I mentioned this, I stopped studying and I just like completely forgot about my course. And all of this just snowballed and snowballed. And it just, it got to a point where on my way back from work the one day, I felt like I was trying to like shoo a mosquito away. But I got, I was on my way back from work the one day, I don't even know when it was, and I was stuck in traffic. And I just suddenly started bawling my freaking eyes out and crying, which is okay you know sometimes you really do need a good cry session what do you call it yeah you need a good cry alone in your car with angry music playing to be alone with your thoughts and just like let it all out with no one around you even though the person next to you in the next lane is looking at you like you're psychotic but um it really is a good therapy session then on top of all of this when I tried again and said Monday I'm going to start, I got sick that Saturday. And I got the flu, like a mild flu, but still I felt horrible. And it all started with like hay fever. And then my hay fever turned into like a sinus infection. And then that turned into a bit of a flu. So I was down for a good four days until I started feeling normal again. So along with all of this, inevitably, I stopped firming. I stopped writing blog posts i stopped uploading to instagram i stopped like creating content because in my head i was already so demotivated and slumped with general things in life 
that there was no way in hell that I was going to stick to an upload schedule and make things seem like it's all, you know, okay. <sighs> now that I've given you that really long ass explanation, I don't know when I'm gonna have to watch this and see what the hell I was going on about. So while I was in this whole slump, this rut, this little whatever you want to call this, <laughs> um, I was putting myself down a lot. Like I was talking myself into demotivation, and I literally had no belief. I had and no, I and a little, and I literally had no belief or confidence that I could finish anything, that I could carry on, or that I could start anything. I was just. So I'm sure that there's a lot of us that makes yourself or you seem very, very put together to other people and on social media. But in reality, you know, when you go to bed or when you're alone taking your shower, you know, the shower is a thinking pod. OK, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you actually have in reality a lot going on in your mind, in your life, in your soul that um doesn't seem like a lot to other people you know but to you it's a, it could be a very small thing that is small to someone but really really big for you it, it, did that make sense so yeah you have just so much going on that you're actually ready to explode any minute but you just keep like compressing that back down to say like nope i've got to deal with this nope i have a big project coming up at work nope i have to do this i have to do that i i can't afford to like explode right now so i uh i actually realized that i was having the worst anxiety without even actually realizing that i was having the anxiety over the smallest things and over things that haven't happened yet you know i was worrying about things that were going to happen in two years or maybe won't even happen in those two years you know i'm the type of person who likes to have a plan put together and i never used to be like this and this plan is also planned very very far ahead to a point that if i deviate even slightly from the plan i throw my hands up and i'm just like damn okay now i have to start over i'll start on monday and then monday comes and it ends up being i'll start next month you know it's just that small deviation from the plan that just throws me off completely and i don't know i'm i don't know if you like this if you are Please, I'd like to not be alone on this. Um, turns out this is a very bad way to look at things. Very, un not bad, let me say unhealthy way to look at things. Especially when you're someone who likes to have very well-defined, particular and constructive goals. But you keep finding excuses in the back of your mind to not reach them. You know, but so basically you want to reach the goals, you want to do this. But you have like a whole lot of excuses that's taking more attention than, you know, reaching your actual goal. Another really bad thing that we do is that we try to tackle way too much in one day. So, for example, in one day, I was trying to gym, eat healthy, drink enough water, get to work early, work an 8 to 9 hour day, study for at least an hour, film videos, write blog posts, edit those videos, upload everything, create Instagram posts while also trying to stay sane and look after like my mind by doing yoga and meditation and still trying to get a minimum of six hours of sleep a day. It was too much. It's just it's not possible. And on top of that, trying to spend time, quality time, you know, with my family and my fiance and my freaking cat. Um, it's just it's too much for one human to handle which is why we don't stick to our goals and retain healthy habits is because we try to tackle way too much but then again it's also not healthy to just laze around and make excuses for everything who are you actually making these excuses for are you making it for yourself because that actually doesn't make sense because why would you make excuses for yourself when you know deep down why you're doing what you're doing so what's the point so i've really been rambling for a long time i don't even know if i've got onto a point yet so what i kind of want you guys to take away from this is me explaining and showing you guys kind of the reality of life and there's so much pressure to get things right every single time and if you don't get it right and if we don't get it right then we judge and criticize ourselves so much even more than what others on the outside might criticize because you know as cheesy as it sounds we really are our own cheerleader 
at the end of the day and it's not helping when you yourself are not cheering yourself on we need to remember that nothing is ever perfect and nothing ever goes according to that plan that you've set out and we shouldn't just you know throw our hands up and say oh whatever it doesn't matter anyway when it doesn't go according to plan and then spend the whole of next the whole of the next day or the next week putting yourself down for not doing what you said you were going to do according to plan what we should be doing is finding the positivity and the light in everything we should be taking our care we should be taking care of ourselves but not taking care of ourselves because it's a trend or because somebody said that you look like this you look like that you should be doing this you know take care of yourself because it's necessary and it's something that you want to do and everybody wants to take care of themselves i don't know anyone who just doesn't want to take care of themselves i mean really change your mindset guys and stop being so hard on yourself and think of things a bit more realistically and support each other you know have your goals but have your goals you know set out in a realistic way you know like have very small goals that you can reach because when you reach the small goal that leads to the big goal you're going to be like more you know motivated to get there because you know that you're going to get there because you're already accomplishing this now but if you stuck with me for this long hi <laughs> thank you for sticking with me this long and leave a comment down below if you happen to relate to anything here or just thumbs up to let me know so anyway with that um with all of this i don't even know if i wrapped that up but yeah that's wrapped up <laughs> with with all of this uh, videos and blog posts will be going up again regularly and i'm really going to stop putting the pressure on myself to create something that is going to get the views or get the attention etc etc because i always like i put so much pressure on how this video needs to be like i need to do a video like this because that's what people want you know i started doing this because i like sharing stuff and i like you know creating videos i like editing the videos i like writing you know articles and taking photos etc etc so now i'm going to do it because i enjoy it and i genuinely want to share whatever it is that i'm sharing not because i'm trying to get to a certain number okay, so with that i'm going to leave you guys there and i hope that you kind of took something away from this video and you're going to look at things in a little bit of a different perspective and a different light because that's exactly what i'm going to do i hope you guys have an amazing week ahead i hope you guys are positive you're ready to change your mindset be happy reach your goals set new goals and keep smiling adios amigos